Hi and welcome to another uh, Pilot RCP Watson video. Today we, uh, or in this video, we're going to have a look at um, the Flywing 450L V2 conversion into the uh, um, scale body of a Bell 206 Jet Ranger. Um, if you haven't seen the video yet on my uh, channel is a video of uh, the the information on the um, Bell 206 where I bought it from and uh, how I put it together so I'm going to firstly strip down the mechanics on this so I'll take off the tail boom take off the GPS take off the props just to make everything uh, get uh, easier to install into the fuse large so they're the first jobs I'm going to be doing so uh, we'll get right down to it the blades off and now I'll take the um tail boom off but this is quite simple uh, if you've got one of these you'll know but it's just to push the uh, lock in device in and it should just come out so you can see there the lever and uh, let's have a go and that's as simple as it is and you can see here it's just a pin so the although this is a direct drive motor um, you don't have to any wiring to do or anything and I'll be able to push that back into the heli so quite happy with that that makes life a little bit easier so so I think the next thing will be to take the uh, skids off the bottom <laughs> Okay, so the next job I'm going to have to do now is uh, I have a funny feeling these are going to be in the way the canopy canopy arms that uh, they hold the canopy on on it. So I think they're going to have to come out. So that's the next job for that. Them to one side. This is integral part of the uh, frame. I'm holding, holding, holding seven. I'm trying to find all that. I'm happy to walk here. That's the fuse. Then I'm going to the lock on this in the factory. That's the requires. I got. Yeah, we'll get that. Okay, so basically we now, as you can see, have the body like this. Um, you know, I've just got an adapter cable on here, which you may not have because my uh, three cell, uh, sorry, four cell lipos that I use, they have bullets on that. Uh, so I've got that adapter on there. But uh, as you can see now, uh, it's ready to try to install into the uh, into the heli. Okay, you can see where the uh, GPS unit was fastened to the boom, uh, and this is a metallic plate. And here are uh, the plates being riveted on. So now I've got to try to remove this plate because I don't think it'll fit in. Well, I'm pretty sure it won't fit in with it on. Um, but with it being riveted, I can't really just drill out because if I drill out, I may catch the cabling. That feeds the motor so I've just got to think about what I'm doing there I'm happy with the positioning I've marked here with some tape so that's where the main shaft alignment is and it's now just a case of ensuring that we can get everything in the tail boom in and then we'll look at repositioning the GPS we also have to make sure that the ESC um doesn't foul onto any part here so 
we are the next tasks okay so what you can see i've done with the tail boom to remove the um plate that the gps was mounted on um i've ground the head of the rivet sorry ground the head of the rivet took the plate off and then just ground these flush so just be careful there not to take too much metal otherwise it will be a weak point so we'll try to fit everything in now by pushing the boom down and meeting the um, mechanics and the point at the back okay what you can see now is um, the boom is fastened into the the um, mechanical frame the prop is or the tail blade is close but i hope far enough away that needs centering a little bit and the um, mechanics the back end of the the frame wants one block of wood under it which was provided um, so you can see the wood there so we need to put one of them underneath the spacer um, because you know just to lift this tail up so it's all central so we can get this up to about the there so so there is, will be some adjustment there it needs to go up quite a bit so probably two three spaces we need so that's the next job and then what pontificating over the gps unit i've put um some tinting on the windows of the uh, fuselage this will just help to uh, dull down a little bit the mechanics of the uh, heli which i didn't really let me say want to be visible so um that'll just help a little bit with that and i'm quite pleased with the outcome of that so um what i've also done is put these brackets on here i've done four all together so that can be mounted now to the wooden plate and i so basically that's what i'm going to do next is um let me say just to uh, finalize the position and then what i'm going to do is put the gps unit into the helicopter uh, loose um, at the moment you might see it's on uh, velcro sticky so I can have a go at moving it into different places within the fuselage just to see if I get interference or not. Okay, so we'll uh, make a start now on uh, one or two jobs. Okay, as you can see now, I'm, uh, I've actually finished the uh, build. Apologies for not doing this by uh, with the camera in the process, but it's been over a number of days, so... Uh, I felt I'd just do the uh, end video like this. So we'll just run through one or two bits and pieces now. I'll have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. I'll do my best not to sound unpleasant. Uh, we'll take the canopy off. Okay, as you can see now, I've got um, everything completed in here these are bolted so the whole frame is on bolting the main boom is still in so the boom that was with the heli that's there and uh, I have checked everything free and moving around here so that, that's good everything at full deflection and uh, no binding or anything and uh, unfortunately it looks a bit untidy at the moment but uh, I had to do a little bit more digging on the back end here um, because the motor fouled a little bit but uh, the next time I strip all the back end off I'll um, I'll just tidy all that up so I uh, just want a bit more uh, sanding on it that's all and a bit of red paint and uh, not done bad with the positioning may have been better a little bit further forwards um we open space here but if i'd have come forwards i think um the servos down there would have fouled you can probably just see the servo horn um let me look. so uh, let me say i feel that's the best position 
Um, maybe not for the scale look, but uh, what I'm going to have to do as well is I normally fly on a 2200 4 cell. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but it is a little bit uh, tail heavy, so I have some 4 cell 4000s. And that's uh, the way I'll go is just to get the balance right is uh, get some uh, bigger batteries in it basically to balance it up. <laughs> bigger battery, a bigger capacity battery. It's a win-win all round. Get the CG right and get um, longer flight times. Okay, so that's uh, everything I think. Uh, or the GPS. see the GPS is here the cable I've run around and up into the back so uh, it seems to work okay I haven't flown it or anything yet but I have tried the GPS out in the garden and it's uh, so it finds the satellites as quick as what it did before so I'm uh, I'm relatively happy with it being there and it is uh, on a flat surface also so all that I've got to do now is uh, the GPS dance so uh, that's my next step once I've done that it's out for its maiden flight okay I hope you've enjoyed this series anyway we'll finish it off obviously with the maiden flight on it but uh, let's say that's the build done now uh, I won't go through the GPS settings because I've done this already um, so it's just a matter now of uh, getting the maiden flight in ok thanks as always for watching if you've not already subscribed and want to see things more things like this please subscribe it does help with the channel uh, I don't get uh, sponsored or anything so it's uh, purely a pleasure thing for me but it does make it better when uh, I keep getting subscribers, it uh, just shows that people are interested in what I'm doing, so so yeah, thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the next video.